Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian coming to the stage is very experienced in show business. He's done it all. Radio, TV, film, and stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Rudy Page, everybody. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who's in love tonight? By applause. <laughs> Just me, huh? Really? No, I mean, is anybody in love? Right, yeah. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Both my parents, born in Italy, came to America to escape the pasta famine. And Rudy Page is the name I use for screen actor skills. My real name, Rodolfo Pagliaccio. And Pagliaccio in Italian means Clown, yeah, so I'm genetically funny. <laughs> Usually what I do now is clean the mic because you never know, you can't be too sick. <laughs> but they've been working pretty clean tonight, no? That's pretty good, that's good, that's good, that's good, yeah. Um, uh, anybody in a long-term relationship here? Yeah? Yeah, how, how long, how long? These are not hard questions. <laughs> 28 years, you got married at 11. My, my goodness, you look so young. Yeah, God bless you. That's a record in Los Angeles. Give him a hand. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got to be? How long? 28 years also. What are the odds? Yeah. And are you still speaking? Yeah. I have been in love with the same woman for 15 years. And if my wife finds out about it, <laughs> actually, uh, no, my wife, the day we got married, she was very strict. She said, no more dating. <laughs> and I miss it. You know, that, that, first, that first, the opening night, uh, you know, that excitement, I miss all that. Yeah, yeah. And um, my, my wife is actually here tonight. She's a teacher, teacher, and uh, works 60 hours a week, you know. Very immersed. She teaches high school. And for two hours after she gets home, she treats me like a 15-year-old. We have to go make out in the back of her car. In the garage. In the garage. Yeah. Mm. But all our single friends complain about dating, you know, and how hard it is, you know, and uh, I keep it simple, carry condoms. You know, what's the big deal? And um, the other thing they complain about is foreplay. Do you still get that business there? I'm saying, when I was young, it was simple. We had one, two, three, play. One, take a shower. One, two, brush your teeth. And three, eat with your mouth closed. Especially fettuccine Alfredo. Right? You hate that white stuff flying across your table, you know. And, uh, but now, after 15 years of knowing the same and being with the same woman, my expectations are not as high. It's, honey, wear a dress. Uh, make sure no kids are around. Two play. And three play, high heels. And my wife says, I can't walk in high heels anymore. I said, I don't want you to walk in there. <laughs> she doesn't get it. We just got a new cat, actually a used cat. <laughs> we adopted from this wonderful nonprofit called the Lang Foundation. And uh, they do great work. They adopt pets from city pounds before they're euthanized. It wouldn't work if they did it after, I guess. <laughs> and we, we got this great cat, and uh, they interviewed us. They called our vet. We had two compatibility meetings with the cat. Can you imagine? And his, his birth name is Sonny. And he looks a little bit like a lion, so we call him Sonny Corleone. Uh, you know, Corleone in Italian means lion heart. Yeah, yeah. And um, he, he's, he's just great. We, we, we love him. And uh, his main job is to keep me company because I'm home alone all the time. You know, I write at home. And uh, she's away working. And um, the other day, I, I went to get him some cat food, and, uh, and I fed him, and I got myself some yogurt. Lonely people eat yogurt. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> and, um, and I looked at the, uh, the package, and it was like five days over the date. So there's an 800, I called the 800 number, and Angela from New Jersey started comforting me. She says, babe, don't worry. 
because that sell date is what you got on there. Your expiration date is different. I said, you know my expiration date? <laughs> and then we had a great conversation about my impending death and the weather in New Jersey. And oh, you know when she finished, I, I, I didn't feel lonely anymore. I do all the cooking, the cleaning, the shopping. I'm in Ralph's the other day. I'm standing in front of this wall of milk. You know, they have too many things to choose from. And this nice kid walks by, a young man, probably one of Ralph's sons. And uh, he looks at me and says, can I help you, senor? And I said, you know, I can't find the goat milk. And he's all, goat milk? I said, yeah, go, goat milk. So he looks, he says, I don't see. And then he starts talking to the wall. Jesus, you got any goat milk down there? And the wall answers. <laughs> see? And the sea of milk parts, and here comes his bottle of goat milk. And he hands it to me, and I said, thank you. And he says, then the senor. And he starts to walk away, and he turns around and he says, senor, why you buy the goat milk? I said, well, I live in an apartment, and they won't let me keep a goat. <laughs> nice kid, nice kid. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, boy. My French uh, friend Jacqueline is in town from Paris today. She comes to L.A. once a year just to buy shoes. Can you imagine? I said, Jacqueline, she says, eh, because in L.A. I wear size 8, and in Paris I wear size 42. <laughs> so size is important, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you have been delightful. Um, I want you to be kind to each other, and in the words of my late great-grandfather, it may be used, but it's still a Honda. <laughs> Thanks for coming. It's one of my favorite things.